Hello friends, this video trigonometry part 23 is brought to you by examfa.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that before watching this video, you have watched part 1 to part 22. Here we have to find the value of x. It says that sin x is equal to 3 by 5, cos x is equal to minus 12 by 30, where x and y lies in second quadrant, we have to find the value of sin of x plus y. Now we know that to find the value of sin x plus y, we have to find sin x cos y and cos x sin y. So we have been given value of sin x and cos y. Now we have to find the value of uh, this one, cos x and sin y. So sin x is equal to 3 by 5. If you want to find cos x, cos of x is equal to root of 1 minus sin square x. We know this. So this will give you root of 1 minus 3 by 5 square. This is root of 1 minus 9 by 25. This is equal to root of 16 by 25 and this is equal to plus minus 4 by 5. Now it is told that x and y lies in second quadrant. So it's all sin, tan, cos. So only sin is positive. So cos will be negative. So we will take it's equal to minus 4 by 5. So cos x is equal to minus 4 by 5. Similarly, sin of y is equal to root of 1 minus cos square y. So this becomes root of 1 minus 12 by 13 square or minus 12 by 13 square. So this becomes root of 1 minus 1 by 44 by 169 and this becomes root of 25 by 169 and this becomes plus minus 5 by 13. Now since sign is positive here, so we will take positive plus 5 by 13. So I have cos x, I have cos y, I have sin x, I have sin y. So now I have to find sin of x plus y. This is nothing but sin, sin is initiating the verb. So he wants to be with cos. So it's sin x cos y plus cos x sin y. Now sin x we have 3 by 5. So we have cos x is equal to, uh, we have found, is equal to minus 4 by 5. And then we have plus uh, cos y, sorry. Sin x cos y. Let me write again. Sin x is equal to 3 by 5 and cos y is equal to minus 12 by 30 plus cos x is uh, minus 4 by 5 into sin y is 5 by 30. So this is what we have got. So if you multiply this, what you get is minus 36 by 15 into 365 minus 20 by again 15 into 3. 65 and what you get is minus 56 by 65 and that is the answer what we have done we have found cos x sin y and then you use sin x plus y to get the answer now in next question we have to find the value of 10 pi by 8 we know the value of 10 pi by 4 but we don't know the value of 10 pi by 4 8 so we'll say x is equal to pi by 8 to start with so 2x is equal to pi by 4 Correct? We know the value of pi by 4. So we can say 10 to x, we know that is equal to 2 10 x pi 1 minus 10 square x. So we will see 10 to x that is 10 of 2 into pi by 8, x is equal to pi by 8 I am putting is equal to 2 into 10 pi by 8 by 1 minus 10 square pi by 8 and this is equal to 10 of pi by 4 because 10 pi by 8 into 2 is equal to pi by 4 and 10 pi by 4 is equal to 1. So what I will do? I will say 10 pi by 8 is equal to y now to make my life easy. So I can write this equation as 2y by 1 minus y square is equal to 1 or I can say 2y is equal to 1 minus y square. Now the equation I got is 
y square plus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0 or I solve this I get y is equal to minus b that is minus 2 plus minus root b square that is 2 square minus 4 into minus 1 into 1 so what I get is minus 2 plus minus root of 4 plus 4 that is minus 2 plus by 2 sorry by 2 by 2 minus 2 plus minus root 8 by 2 is equal to minus 2 plus minus root 8 I can say 2 root 2 by 2 that is equal to minus 1 plus minus root 2 answer this is plus minus this is plus minus so what I have done I know tan 2x equal to 2 tan x by 1 minus tan square x now I say x equal to pi by 8 so I get tan 2 into pi by 8 is equal to tan pi by 4 is equal to 1 and I put tan pi by 8 is equal to y and solve the equation to get the answer thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again